I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. The fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Brown awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Alabama's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. And we'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. bring him down around the 44 yard line the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing they have no idea whether you're passing or running even if you need medium to long range yards Harris gets the ball he makes it to the 42 yard line Here's the give. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 30. Gives it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Three nothing, Alabama. Alabama's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. And he's level at the 37. Good solid running right there. 
getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he can be stopped. Just throws this one away. From their own 37-yard line, second down. rid of this one. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Here's the halfback. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. Around the 23-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Mike eight, Mike eight. Go, hey, kill Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. Gets to about the 14-yard line. And he's taken down around the 19-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Throws left, the running back's got it. He's tackled at the 16. So that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away, and it is good. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Gets to about the 27-yard line. the sack. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Steps out at the 32-yard line. Johnson is waiting for the snap. And they push him out right around the 34. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Pass 
bounces it to the middle of the field. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. We played one, three, three times. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Looks to his receiver, first down. And he's tackled at the 26. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Inside the 10. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. The seven yard line. Easy, easy. And now he's got room to run. converts the extra point. It was a six play, 67 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Gives it left side, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Calls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First and ten. ten. First and ten. Ball on the forty two yard line. Here's the pass. Broken up. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction. It's just natural ability. Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. Fires incomplete. Knocked away. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Moore is back awaiting the punt. Fielded at the 19. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ole Miss up seven points. Fires out to his wideout, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 29-yard line. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. He's on the run, and they make the stop at the 29. 
Texas Mike Mike eight. Mike eight. Hey, tighten, tighten down, tighten down. There you go. Go, oh, kill her. Her. Zips it to the back. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Right into the tackle at the 31 yard line. Fourth down. Brown to punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 35. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nice run there. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 38. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Caught, and he's hit immediately. it up and it's long enough and he missed it left no good momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays Ole Miss is up seven complete he's got room and he is drilled at the 44. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They get him in the backfield for a loss. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
Alabama's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. It's going the other way. Down the sideline. Quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Ole Miss is up a score. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Quick pass. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, first down. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He's out of bounds at the 14-yard line. That makes it second. Mike eight. Mike eight. Go. And he hits him hard at the 13. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Kicks up. And he got it. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Rebels with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he 
he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for him. Right, 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 right. That makes it second and six. six. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the 39. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. He makes it to the 42 yard line. Call it a gain of 3 yards. That makes it second and 6. Gains his way to midfield. Gain of eight yards. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at the 30, fires out to his receiver. Touchdown, Alabama! Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. So a seven-play, 74-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 13-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff's got to be excited. Their game plan was to get it in this guy's hands, and they've done a great job of it. Well, they've done a really good job of getting the football, and they've come up with a variety of ways of putting the ball in his hands. And I think you combine the scheme with this young man's abilities, it's no wonder he's having such a big game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Ole Miss is up a field goal. He's tackled at about the 35. That's good enough for another Ole Miss. First down. Black Hill Kill! Black Five! Two! Three! Four! Tackled after a decent pickup. throw. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. him down in the backfield and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop this is textbook this is how you're supposed to play against the run third down and they need to get it down to the 32 Green quick shot the defender tips it away that makes it fourth and eight He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Hand off up the middle. He gets out to about the 42-yard line.
Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at the 42. Jones on the tackle at the 42 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of seven yards. First down. On the ground, up the middle. And he stopped behind the line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Caught. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. Haynes with the tackle at the 17-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. That's a great tackle at the six yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's the ninth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Down time. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10 play, 60 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. Harris makes the second ball at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Strike to the receiver. And he's level at the 38 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. So at the end of three, the Crimson Tide in front, 17 13. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Green eye, green eye. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. 
And here's another third down. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. My game, my game. Black five, black five. <laughs> Brown is waiting for the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Alabama is up by four. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. their own 35-yard line. It's second down. Just throws this one away. He wants it all. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he's immediately tackled. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Gives it off. And they'll get him in the backfield. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler and he showed it right there. Complete, brought down, nothing to it. With the catch. Right, brings him down. The 48 yard line. Mike, eight. That brings up third and ten. Doubles, 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 doubles. Hey, doubles. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. to the back quickly off his hands incomplete from the 43 yard line second down throws it to the halfback and he's got it again they'll bring him down right around the 34 Complete. He's got room. He steps out right around the 32-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 16. Fires out 
quick, it's picked off. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. First and ten. Ball on the 16. Makes it to the 24. Ole Miss is going to use their first time out of the half here. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field, and even a ball is loose, fumble. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. This one's going deep to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. From the 29-yard line, second down. Just under two minutes in the game. He launches one for the end zone. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. That'll bring up fourth and five. He's tackled at the 11 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Black five. Check, check. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time he threw a pick down here. Looks to the end zone interception. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air, and they come away with a dagger of an interception. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. Run there. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. going to do it for this one. Our final score, 24-13, Alabama. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? Well, they fought this one hard and played with some grit. And while they might not have come away with a W, they've got no reason to hang their heads. Alabama didn't necessarily play their best game today. They let them hang around for a little bit more than they would have liked, but it's still a nice win.
Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.